What's going on folks? I'm about to show you how to tell if you have a bad outer tire rod. Your tire rod is right here and when your wheel shakes back and forth you'll see it shaking like that. You see how that's shaking? That's telling you that you have a bad outer tire rod which can be very dangerous if it was to completely pop loose or you would basically lose complete control of this whole um, wheel over here. To change this out is pretty simple. First thing you need to do is remove a nut that's at the bottom which is normally a 18 which is normally a size 18 to take that off and once you remove that you want to hit that knock it up and then you're going to come up here and remove it spin it off from this point right here the first thing you have to do is remove the bolt that's on the bottom down here it took like a size 18 to remove that bottom bolt next what you want to do is come right here it looks like it's one piece, but it's not. It's actually two pieces. There's a bolt here, and then there's the basic part of it. So what I've already kind of loosened it some. So you want to take it and maybe and spin it. You're going to be like acting like you're tightening it. So you see how I spent that up a couple times? What you're trying to do is just get a separation in between your outer tire rod piece you're going to be changing and that bolt right there. Okay, I'm about to take it. Once you get that boat off and you do that, now what you want to do, you have to take a hammer and knock it out like that. And then you see how this is? So when you're taking this off, you want to kind of remember how many spins it takes you to take this off. So you can put the other one back on the same way. You're probably going to need an alignment once you're done with this. But doing this will help at least your wheel to be somewhat stable. So I'm going to count. I'm starting from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It took me twelve spins. So when I'm putting the other one on, what I want to do is I want to start with it facing down. So I'm going to start down like that and spin. That would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, folks. Now I got the new tire rod back here. What I want to do now, go back to this bolt right here that I loosened, and I want to tighten that back up onto the tire rod itself. I want to tighten that bolt back up. See how I'm doing that? I tightened that back against the tire rod. Let me tighten this a little bit more. Alright, you want to make sure that's tight. And once you have that tight, you want to take your castle nut, which you go at the bottom. You want to go ahead and put that back on and tighten that up. And then a lot of them will come with a pin that you'll use. It looks like this, you're sliding a little hole right there. And once you've done that, take your little oil to put it inside of this hole right here. But then make sure you put your little valve. Make sure you put your little valve back in the top and screw that in. And pretty much you're done. Alright folks, this is how you would change out your outer tire rod. This happens to be a Chevy vehicle, but it's pretty much the same for multiple models, years, as well as brands. Alright, thanks.